connecting the tablet to a wired internet cable. Hi, this is Amir from uh, Amir Bornstein from uh, Norad4u.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use a regular tablet in a wired environment with wired internet. Okay, so this has a couple of steps. The basic way to do it is just to connect it to the net. Uh, with wired uh, connection, the more advanced way to do it is actually to build a full computer environment around this device. Um, and the key reason for that is that the tablet is cheaper than a PC. If it's connect wired, uh, wiredly, then it might uh, even uh, emit less uh, radiation, uh, EMI or uh, EMF or uh, ELF and uh, RF, of course, if, it's, uh, if the Wi-Fi is turned off, uh, then a PC or a laptop, and uh, it is much more easy to carry around and to use uh, in other people's houses. Uh, all you need to do is, for the basic thing, is to get on eBay this device, okay? This device is actually... Um, this device is a, a USB to USB to a RG45 a network card, okay? And I got it here already connected, as you can see. This is a, a Android device. It should work with Android uh, operation machines, uh, operation system. Sorry, uh, and. On one end it's connected to my internet cable uh, and on the second side of it it's connected to uh, the tablet. So let's connect it, okay? Uh, here is the connection, let me see. Yep, connected. Okay, so now the tablet is reacting. If you don't want to touch the tablet you can create a, s a device that will hold it and use the stylus and do like that. And let's try a cnn.com now this tablet is very 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 slow because it's very 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 cheap okay so don't mind the upload time um, it will end up it will upload in the end okay uh, eventually uh, this is not something that I I care about Okay, so here's uh, Sanders and Hillary Clinton, um, and this is the probably the new radiation that they found. Okay, so the tablet, the network is working. So this is base one. This is the first thing we wanted to achieve. We wanted to achieve internet connection via uh, wired with a tablet. Connecting the tablet to a wired keyboard and a mouse, in addition to the wired internet cable. Okay, so we showed how to connect a tablet wildly to an internet connection. Now, for the second step, we will show how to connect it to more devices. Uh, why do we need more devices? Because it is much more comfortable to use an external keyboard uh, and even a mouse. Uh, and in order to do that, we have to order a couple of stuff. Okay, so we need to order from eBay or other locations, other stores, uh, a USB hub, a micro USB hub. It should be a micro USB on one side and it should have at least three uh, USB uh, connectors. Uh, this is one thing. And the second thing we need to have is those small dongles that can convert from micro USB to full USB. Okay? So we need a couple of that. Uh, one of them just fall down, fell down. I don't know where it is right now but it should be somewhere around here um, and it is also uh, uh, also you, most people have a, a mouse a USB mouse at, at the house or a keyboard a big keyboard like that okay manual keyboard a PC keyboard uh, you also USB and um, I will start with uh, this stuff this is actually a, a, a kind of a wallet for the tablet Okay, the tablet should go inside and um, then should be connected to the, to the, it comes with a micro USB as well. And I would need another dongle in order to convert it to a full USB. Okay, so I will just put it right now there. 
so it won't mess with my, what I need uh, just to show that it works uh, in real life you will connect it to the harness steer and it will be more easier so the first thing would be to disconnect the uh, USB to disconnect the network and to connect the micro USB hub uh, which is done pretty much like that very simple only thing you have to make sure is that uh, they are it is uh, on the go okay it's not on the charge it's on mode uh, it's on the on the go mode OTG okay now um, I put the tablet there and I use the dongle converter to connect the micro USB to the regular USB okay and connected connected now I will connect again uh, this one, the network, I will also use a micro USB uh, converter to full USB since my hub is a USB. Okay, now connected to a free uh, input in the hub. Now, once I have that, let's see that it works. I punch the keyboard and see if it works. Okay, seems like it works. If you need a mouse in this condition, you can actually connect a mouse or use the stylus. I'm using the stylus pen. Okay. Again, let's connect, see if it connects to the internet, if it still connects to the internet, and it does, right, why not, okay, um, now I can punch, oh, sorry, I can write whatever I want, it's very easy, okay, uh, and uh, very flexible, and very intuitive just using the keyboard okay now if I would like to add the mouse all I have to do is take the mouse okay USB connect it to one of the three USBs on the USB hub and now now the, the mouse is not working very well because uh, the background here is white and Apparently they don't do that very well, okay, uh, but let's see if I can show you that it does work, okay, it is working, you see, I can actually use the mouse, okay, to do stuff. Now I don't know why it keeps unlocking, maybe it's too heavy for, uh, keep uh, losing the website, maybe it's too heavy for the website, I don't know. Um let's let's search for something, okay? Ra the Asian Okay, let's just use the keyboard to search for the Asian. I got all kinds of uh, uh, search outcomes. Okay. Good. Now it's working, but uh, not everybody wants to use this type of keyboard. Let's disconnect it and remove it. Some people would like to use a tablet as a kind of a cheap walking station. And for that, to make it perfect, you need a cheap or more expensive keyboard. So I'm just sliding my keyboard in. Okay, this is an ordinary PC keyboard, very heavy, micro switch stuff, very professional, it has a USB, USB connection, okay, and now that I've disconnected the small USB, I have a new free hub input, so I will take the, in, the USB, in, the keyboard and connect it, and now it's connected, now, I will remove all the excessive stuff. So the picture will be clean. Okay. And let's see what we get. We get a tablet connected wildly. Okay. Uh, to the network. Okay. When using uh, we can use also a mouse to control it in, in cases that uh, the mouse really works. It will work on, on if the surface is not white. 
for some reason probably the light issue and um, reflection issue okay and and th this is what we get we actually get a, a small PC environment which is you can use a 10 inch tablet this is the cheapest they can get for 7 inch okay um, a keyboard a mouse a tablet a USB hub wired internet connection two USB uh, actually one in this in this setup I use one USB uh, my USB to micro USB converter okay and I have a full system and it's kind of working so right now I can for the first time in my life connect to WhatsApp and uh, see what's going on okay now this is of course uh, for those of you who are EHS who cannot offer uh, using a cell phone or a tablet and still need to use uh, WhatsApp so uh, for work or for uh, staying in contact with friends uh, although I do not uh, encourage that but uh, we have a situation in which kids are actually being uh, left out of their class uh, classmates and, and class activities because they don't have WhatsApp today WhatsApp has become uh, the, the first or number one way of communication between kids uh, so we came I came up with this idea in order to um, allow them to connect to to each other uh, in the modern way without using a cell phone and w without being affected by the radiation since they are in each chest okay so there you have it I'll just take a couple of pictures Thanks for watching and see you next time.